the one factor which is common to nearly all successful people is self-discipline. So here comes the big question. What are those habits and how can we develop them in our lives? So in today's video, I will share with you some self-discipline habits of highly successful people. Do watch all the way till the end because I'll also share my own journey and the one habit that has brought me a little bit of success. So let's get going. Hey there, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. It's a Friday today and let's get started straight away with the top five common self-discipline habits of successful people. The first habit is a positive attitude. Let's start with an example of Walt Disney, the founder of the biggest animation company of all time. Walt Disney created one of his early cartoons named Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. He was present in a business meeting in New York when he got to know that the rights of his popular character were sold to another distributor. Even his animators were hired by that distributor and he was left with nothing to his name. Before returning home, Walt sent a telegram to his brother and business partner Roy. Don't worry, everything is okay, we'll give details when I arrive. Instead of diving deep into negativity and dismay, Disney felt the need to create a brand new cartoon character. He picked up his sketchbook and started from scratch. What Walt Disney drew that day was the first draft of Mickey Mouse. Disney made use of his habitual optimism at the lowest point in his career and turned it into a magical comeback. It is because of his lifelong positive attitude, the world received the biggest cartoon character of all time. You might have noticed that nearly all successful people are similarly optimistic in nature. They hardly complain about the uncontrollable factors in their lives and they focus only on what they can control. And the truth is that the only things we can control are our own effort and attitude. So keep doing the good stuff with a smile. At number two is fitness, the core habit. The Olympic gold medalist Neera Chopra is an example of how discipline in fitness and training takes you to success. You all remember Neera Chopra's gold medal in javelin throw. Neeraj never missed his training schedule and showed up every single day. In his own words, he was so passionate to show up for training that it ultimately became a habit for him. Research has shown that students who exercise daily tend to have better cognitive abilities. It means that we will get an improved concentration and memory power, There'll be more energy in our bodies, more blood to our brain, and also more happy hormones. We could start our fitness journey by taking small steps. This can include maybe a half an hour running session, skipping, or even playing a sport like football or any other sport. Remember that your fitness journey will not only benefit you, but also inspire those around you. And before we move to strategy number three, I would like to give a shout out to Kanishka for leaving this beautiful message under my last video. And if you want a shout out as well, drop me a message below quickly with the hashtag Chet Chatters. The third habit of successful people is writing. Do you know that Albert Einstein wrote about 80,000 personal notes in his lifetime? I bet a laptop would have saved him a lot of paper. <laughs> Jokes aside, the biggest genius of the century had a habit of writing down things. Everything in those notes was not about science or mathematics or physics. On the contrary, Albert Einstein wrote whatever he felt at that moment. Even if it was a random thought, 
that made him excited about something, he made sure to write it down. Writing helps you focus. Writing our daily reflections or maintaining an idea journal is both therapeutic and creative. I have spoken about my habit of writing three things every morning in my journal and I will share a link to that video right here. Imagine writing to be this meditational tool that straightens out the wound up convoluted wiring in the brain and makes things appear very simple. Martin Luther said, if you want to change the world, pick up your pen and write. The fourth habit of successful people is challenging their comfort zone. Here is where I will share my own little story. I was a banker with a great multinational bank, heading their corporate bank sales team in Bangalore. But I had a calling towards education. I walked one day to IIM Bangalore and offered to teach on the weekends. And I just wanted to check out if it's going to work for me. At the start, it was very difficult. I had no experience in teaching and also very little time to prepare for my classes, given my full-time bank job. It seemed daunting, but I persisted. Later on, I began enjoying it. I, in fact, left my banking job, took up teaching at business schools and also set up a training company of my own. But then I realized that I was not able to reach out to students in the remotest part of the world who could not afford to be in this expensive business school. And they were the ones, you are the ones that actually needed all the guidance. That's when someone suggested a YouTube channel. So from banker to teacher to YouTuber, at the start, it was hard. I had never made videos. I had no idea about YouTube either. And it all seemed like an impossible situation. But here I am, I learned everything from scratch. I edited the first 100 videos all by myself before getting a team in. And I learned that true success comes when we learn new things, when we work hard against all odds, when we consistently persist with an idea. And all of learning happens outside our comfort zone. You can only grow if you're willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable when you try something new. And finally, at number five, is the habit of listening to podcasts or audiobooks. The most consumed content form by successful individuals is audio. Be it top CEOs like Satya Nadella or best-selling authors like JK Rowling. This is a habit which is common between these personalities and many more people like them. A good part of their day is always set aside to listen to their favorite podcasts or to complete their audiobooks. Audio is one of the most convenient forms of content. You can listen to a podcast or an audiobook while running, gymming, cleaning or while doing several activities, which is also why we can shape it easily into a daily habit. There are a lot of genres of podcasts and audiobooks out there, but for young adults, Self-help and educational ones are an instant hit. To get you started, here are some of the most popular podcasts and audiobooks among highly successful people. The Tony Robbins Podcast, On Purpose with Jay Shetty, The Art of Self-Discipline, The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And that was all for today's video. I hope that these habits really help you in becoming a successful person and bring you closer to your goals. Here is a quick recap of all the five habits that we discussed. One, a positive attitude. Two, fitness and training. Three, writing something every day. Four, stepping outside our comfort zone. And five, listening to audiobooks and podcasts. I hope this helps you to become very successful and happy. Till then, hit the like button, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Chet Chat.
happy watching